First question is from Michelle Ailan. Can you build muscle strength and muscle endurance at the same time or in the same programming? Yeah, you can do you can develop everything at the same time if you want. Now here's the uh, here's the, the takeaway or the caveat mm. is that you're not gonna get much of everything right. if you do that. Your body it uh, it's got limited capacity to adapt, and many times one adaptation is takes away from another adaptation. For example, if I'm looking for maximum endurance, maximum endurance, like let's say I'm doing long distance running, that requires my body to become very efficient with calories, to be very light, which also means not have much muscle. Now, if I'm doing that simultaneously with heavy strength training, which is telling my body to not be efficient with calories, right, to burn more calories, and to be strong, which requires more muscle, they, they tend to conflict. And so I'll get a little bit of each, but not a lot of either one. Muscle strength, muscle endurance, it, it, they're not as conflicting, but there's some a little bit of com confliction going on. And so if you train for both at the same time, you'll get a little bit of both, but you won't get a lot of either. I love using the analogy. Justin, what do you call that? We we talked about this before on the show. I think this is, this, I think, paints the picture so well is, you know, the video game avatar, like, yeah. uh, attributes. Yeah, they, they, oh, give you, yeah. they give you 100 points, but mm -hmm. you have to, like, divide them up over, That's like, right. and speed, so, strength, yeah. skill, and, and like imagine, character skills. And, and let's just for a minute imagine that attributes. everything that you do in as far as training inside the gym is going to give you one at least one bar of everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the more specific you are at training for strength, the more bars it's going to go there and the less you're going to get of the other things, right? right? Yeah. And so it's kind of like that. So when you when you look at training, yeah, you can train for all of them, but you're only going to get maybe one more bar on each of them right. Right. versus focusing on one specific. It's totally like that. Yeah, it is totally like yeah, that. Yeah, I, I could totally visualize that. And I know anybody else who's played games like that where you're going through the characters, you're trying to pick the strengths, um, you know, you, their specificity does apply. And so if you're, you're taking away from, you know, another direction that you could take your body, um, you know, that's going to affect you, your overall performance. And so to, to try and combine everything together, you know, you could pull off like, it, you know, like you could get some benefit in terms of like all of them, but it's going to be a lot less than you would just focusing completely on it. Yeah. And also we have to define muscle endurance because that's kind of a broad category, right? So there's the type of muscle endurance that allows you to do 25 reps of a barbell squat. There's also the muscle endurance that allows you to do 20 sets in a workout. And then there's the muscle endurance that applies to like uh, more specific endurance type training where you're doing long distance running or rowing or swimming. So all of those are a little bit different, right? If you want the muscle endurance that allows you to do 20 reps in a squat, well, that it actually complements muscle strength to a certain extent, right? So mm -hmm. it's not going to be – it's not entirely muscle strength, but if you're the average person trying to get build overall muscle, actually not a bad idea to do the low rep stuff with those types of reps uh, in your workouts. In fact, a lot of our workouts are designed that way where you go through different phases. Same thing with volume, right? Total volume is a form of, of muscle endurance. So, for example – a bodybuilder tends to have more muscle endurance in that sense than a power lifter, right? A bodybuilder may do a bit shorter rest periods. They're doing more sets of different exercises. Oh, this is how I always used to crush Justin right yeah. here. Yeah. Oh, really? Back, yeah. In the day, yeah. back in the days when we used yeah. to work out yeah, together. About 40 minutes in, I'm going to Yeah, kill. well, I, I had the crazy muscle just, endurance because yeah, I trained that Yeah, you just had more of a motor. So it's like, yeah. yeah, you keep going through those reps, and and then, you know, your recovery time was a lot shorter versus yeah. me where I was, like, constantly, like, I would do the long rest periods, and I was just adapted to that. Yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah, you can get both, um, but you're not going to get a lot of either one. So just remember that. Now, there's no wrong answer here for somebody, right? So think about what you want. Think about the physical attributes you want. Think about the adaptations that you want. Now, for the average person who's not going to work out very much, does two, three days a week, wants to burn body fat, doing the most effective, efficient way possible, focus on strength. But if you're working out a lot and you're like, look, I like endurance, I like stamina, I also like strength, have fun, do them all. You'll be a jack of all trades, but a, a king in none. Well, I, I think there's there's one aspect too that you have to address is the, the psychological part about why I like focusing on one specific adaptation. Oh, the, men, the, the, the mental space is totally different. Yeah, the mental space is different, and then also the the results and the gains in that direction come on faster because you're specific. Right. So, and, and we know that that's such a big piece to being people being consistent. Like, if you decide you're going to write a program, you're going to be consistent about training, you want to see the most results from that, right? That keeps you motivated and keeps you coming back because you're seeing change. If you're kind of doing everything, 
you kind of see a little bit of change everywhere versus, okay, right now for the next four weeks, I'm going to focus on all strength mm -hmm. and everything from your dieting to your rest periods, to your exercise selection, to like your rep, rep range, everything is centered around that. Sure, you may not get a ton of muscle endurance from that, but you're going to see a lot of change in that direction of strength from focusing on that. And then the same goes for if you were to go endurance wise. So I do think that there's a, uh, even though you said that there's no wrong answer and you can do both, there is a, a, a psychological benefit also to being very specific to what you're trying to train because you'll get more of that Agreed. right away.